that's that's the holly, as John said. That is a traditional New Zealand Māori greeting. And you notice that we pressed our foreheads and noses together, and in doing so, we share the breath of life with each other, and it's a way of intermingling our soul and welcoming Chris and truly to the New Zealand family. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Now that you are um, inducted into the larger New Zealand family, how does it feel? Oh, it feels great firstly and it, uh, it feels great to be a part of the New Zealand family. And thank you so much for welcoming me in the most traditional way. Hongi yeah. was uh, a very different and uh, great experience. And I love the concept behind it. I think mean, it's very, very interesting. Um, I think uh, education is something that I have always, always really felt um, very strongly for. And um, I'm glad that even though I sort of switched my path to a uh career, uh, I'm glad that I'm still able to do something in the line of education for the students of our country. And uh, thank you so much. I, I hope that I'm able to inspire a lot of people and help them uh, shape their Cardiac in a better way. Great. Um, so, um, I think a lot of people here would like to know a little bit about you and how was it growing up and uh, in your family, what was the um, thing on education? What was the emphasis of education with your parents and your rest of the family? Well, uh, as John said, uh, my my mom's a uh, professor in Delhi University. She teaches physics. So, uh, I was always good in physics. And, <laughs> My dad's a chartered accountant. So education was always very, very important uh, in my uh, house and it was very important to do well also. Uh, so I was a very studious kid, uh, getting about 90% in all my classes. And um, I was one of those kids who, who uh, can't sleep without finishing the course if you have an exam tomorrow. Uh, uh, the front bencher is what we call it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I just, uh, I think, uh, you know, that that thing was inculcated in me that whatever I do, I have to give it my best and I have to do it right. So that was always there and uh, I chose um, to um, go for engineering and electronics and communication. Um, which again, I think, uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't only help you uh, increase or enhance your analytic uh, but I think it also teaches you how to work best under pressure because you have exams like five and four months, which is insane. Uh, and uh, when I realized what I wanted to do in life, when I realized my passion, um, I was still told by my parents that it's something that I wanted myself to to complete my degree, to complete my education, because I feel that. Uh, primary education and a good quality education uh, not only makes you feel secure but also somewhere um, improves your personality. It, it is what makes you have your opinions in life. You know, what, what you want to do, your sense of right and wrong. Um, you're more aware and you're more confident about every decision that you're making in life. So I think education has been like the thing in my family which you have to do no matter what. So yeah, we've got a physics with kid and <laughs> studio student. Um, hi Krishna, would you like to add something on um, the importance of education, both as the head of mission for New Zealand in India and also as a parent of young children? Thanks. Yeah, as, um, as a parent, uh, it's really important that we guide our children and encourage them in the interest in education. That's not to say that we have to direct them into one particular area or another but that we really try and foster in them that love of thinking of school uh, and of education in general. Because in a lot of cases, kids don't understand the importance of education. Why do I have to do my homework? Why do I have to do my Why? And in the case of my kids, they don't understand why I drag them halfway around the world. Um, but it does create interesting conversations. And uh, a few weeks ago, we had a really interesting conversation in my house about the importance of being a global citizen which is one of the reasons why I do dress my kids halfway around the world. Um, and I think getting an international education really does help you understand why it's important to be a global citizen if you can 
ways of help try and solve some of the problems that are besetting uh, the world rather than living in their own little bubble. Getting an international education in New Zealand that really rewards students who want to think critically, to question, uh, to question the status, status quo, to be a bit innovative and ready to think independently, creatively. Um, so it, it's a great opportunity for them to see a different part of the world in a different way of thinking and doing things. Yeah, I agree totally. I think both of you um, did emphasize the fact that innovation and creativity is at the helm of all changes. Um, so I think with that change, uh, we come back to you to be on how is it transitioning from a uh, very studious academic engineer <laughs> to uh, films then how do you think that degree helped you um, work or change your career path? You know, I think uh, it's so strange because as a kid, I was so shy that when someone used to come to my house, I used to just go and hide like behind my mom. Um, so coming to uh, a time where I'm facing live audience and acting in front of the camera, where there are like hundreds of people around uh, and not being really conscious. I think it is the education that I've gotten that over the time helps me. Um, education, I feel, is firstly a lifelong process. It's not every day you're learning something new, something different. Even today, when I'm when I'm working on the set, I'm learning new things every day, and I'm growing as a person because of that. Um, not too many of us actually realize our passions um, very soon in life. I think there are only fortunate people who know exactly what they're passionate about, what they want to do in their life. You know, and I think um, I realized that when I started modeling when I was in my second year of college. Um, but to have the confidence to just switch in a different direction um, also needs you know, a sense of security, which I think my educational degree gave to me and to my parents to a large extent. Um, because I just wanted to finish my uh, degree. I had two job offers in my hand, but I knew what I what I really wanted to do. And that certainty in your mind, you know, of, of chasing your dreams, uh, that confidence that you have, I think it all comes from being educated because you know the pros and cons of things. You, you form opinions. Um, you're more aware of what's happening around and what can be done and what can be achieved. So I think uh, it has helped me a lot. In fact, um, even today when I'm on set, I feel uh, engineering does one thing, it makes you question a lot. You learn how to put logics in everything that you do. Uh, you don't just follow directions, you know everything has a why to it. So I think uh, when I'm on set, when I'm thinking of a character, I'm someone who asks a lot of questions, but it's important to me because it's important to me to understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. And um, yeah, I think uh, putting logic to things is something that comes from education that I use in my everyday life as an actor. Yes, absolutely. I think well said. It's it's a whole life learning process. And and John, on that, would you like to um, sort of give some thoughts on how uh, New Zealand education helps develop that lifelong Yes, absolutely. Uh, well, first of all, I think one point to emphasize is that our education system is built on uh, the sorts of uh, inquisitiveness and uh, critical thinking that Kriti was talking about. So right from uh, the school age through to uh, our universities and other institutions, uh, we have very open and uh, collaborative learning environments. Uh, and that could say, I guess a positive uh, learning experience for students to go out to question things um, and also to uh, connect in with other international students, New Zealand students uh, and with industry. And New Zealand's fortunate enough to welcome uh, more than 130,000 international students to our country. Um, so we are proud of the fact that we give those uh, international students opportunity. Um, so whether that's connecting uh, with our ministers or prime minister, in the case of our New Zealand Excellence Award recipients, uh, or to connect them with industry. Um, so all of our students, uh, international students, uh, can apply for work rights uh, and connect them and have internships at our universities as well. Um, so all of those features uh, allow students to not only 
critically think about their, their future uh, career prospects, but also to connect them in New Zealand and abroad uh, to make those career prospects happen. Yeah.